Hold it. And nice deep breath. Pop it back up. Roll those shoulders back. And then roll them forward. Very good, you guys. So as we do those compound moves, the goal here is to work multiple muscle groups at the same time. As I said, if you want to pick one part of the move that works well for you. So I'm gonna take here my left foot forward and my right foot back. Now my feet are hip distance apart. I'm gonna hinge from my hip. Now, as I come forward, I'm gonna bend my back knee. I'm in a forward lunge, but my upper body is forward. And then as I explode into an airplane, I kick back. So one, two, if I prefer, I can just do a tricep kickback. Three, four, but here we get the buns of pressing through the heel, five, that glute medius, six, abs in, seven, and eight, pressing through that front heel, nine, one more, Take a quick little rest here. Roll back. Now, to work your balance a little bit if you'd like, you're in that airplane position. Find your focal point. Kick back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and rest. Great job. Take a moment, hinge, I bend my back knee and hinge from the front and reach down and open up that hamstring. Big breath in. Okay, now I'm switching feet forward. So I'm hinging from my hip. When I come down, knees bent, upper body forward. And then kick back. One, two, three, four. Find that focal point here. Five, six, seven. Find your focal here. Eight, abs in. Nine. Quick little break. Roll back. Now, if you want to work that balance, you guys, hip distance, ready? Find that focal and kick. One, two, three, elbow pivot point, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and let it go. Pinch, buns back. Open it up now, nice deep breath. Feel that space along that posterior chain of that length and leg. Nice deep breath in, nice deep breath out. Very nice, you guys. I'm gonna grab my little step here. You're gonna do burpees next. All right, so I can always use a chair. I can always do a part of a burpee. So one way that I could modify is I could step back and then step back up and just work on from coming down and up. So don't feel like I can't do a burpee. Anyone can do a burpee. You want to make sure though that your abdominal muscles stay tight. So you're going to take that big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, exhale, back in, one. Back in, two. Back in three, abs in four, five, six, seven, eight, two more times, guys. Nine, one more. And ten. Great job. Big breath in. Big breath out, spread your wings. Inhale. Exhale. Very good, you guys. So I want you to go heavier if you're comfortable because we're gonna do a rub. Now, if I hinge from my hip, 
I could stick my buns up against a wall here, and that would help keep the integrity of the spine. As I reach, I can scoop and pull, or I can follow the line of my leg and pinch and squeeze my shoulder blades together. Okay, so you guys decide. So, nice deep breath in. When we come down in that woman maker, after we do our burpee jump, back, we do a renegade row. So, from standing, from here, from my knee to my hip, or I scoop and pull. One, two, three, and four. Can you open up your heart here? Five, keep your abs in. Six, and seven. Pressure in your heels. Eight, back flat, abs in. Nine, let's go. Ten pulls. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one more, and stand up tall. Great job, you guys. After our renegade row on the floor, then what we do here is a push up. So I'm going to modify this push up and come on one knee. So if I take my hands further away from me with the fingers out, I work my biceps. If I rotate my fingers in, I work my triceps. So you guys can decide. We'll do one set with the bicep, one set with the tricep. And if you want to do regular push-ups, go for it. So first thing I'm going to do is rotate my fingertips out. And I'm going to pop up here. I'm balancing my left knee. My abdominal muscles are in. When my head comes down, my knee comes down. When my head comes up, my leg comes up. Abs in. Inhale. Exhale. One. Two. Three, four, five, neck in neutral, bounce on that one knee. Six, squeeze and lift, ladies. Seven, eight, nine. Now you're going to give me 10 minutes. So my leg will stay activated. It's a pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Take a moment and push back. We need breath in. I want to feel that space in my low back. If it doesn't work, I'm in that puppy pose. I can still lengthen my spine. If taking my hips to my heels bothers my knees, then I would adjust the position. Now we're going to go ahead, you guys, and you're going to float the fingertips in for the second. Now, the closer your hands are, the harder it is. For me to modify with my hand, I'm gonna open up here and come a little bit wider. All right, so I'm bouncing here now on the other knee. Head down, knee down, pop it up one, two, three, four, bend and lengthen, five, six, Seven, inhale, exhale, eight, nine. Now we've got 10 pulses. One, two, try to balance if you can. Three, abs in, five, seven, nine, and give it a rest. Great job, you guys. Take a moment here. Relax your hands by your feet, if that works. And just relax your forehead. Nice deep breath in. I'm gonna roll my wrist and then rewind it and just exaggerate. Very good. Roll back, three, two, and one. So we've got plank jacks. We're gonna go with 30, okay? So if I prefer, I can stand back up and do another round of jumping jacks. Here, multiple muscle groups at the same time. Better to go slow and keep your form, then go fast and hurt yourself. So abs in, neck in neutral. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep your neck in neutral. Ten more. One, two, three. Four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and rest. Drop down, come to a cat cow. Open it up. Inhale, tuck. Exhale, open. One more time. Fantastic. Push back here, you guys. Down, down. Walk those feet in. Now, from here, if I can touch the floor, great. If that doesn't work, shins or quadricep. Keep the integrity of the spine. Soft knee. Roll it up. Very good, you guys. We're going to go with some kettlebell swings. Now, oftentimes people might say, well, my back hurts to do this. If you want to, you can hold the wall squat. Okay? All right, so your form is really the culprit if you feel this in your back. Because the goal is to keep the pressure in your heels and your buns, and you're using the momentum of your body to swing. So I'm not using my arms, I'm using my legs and my abs. So inhale, exhale. Now the arms aren't coming up to the ceiling, it just depends how far I'm swing using my body, how much momentum I have to propel me forward and back. Inhale, exhale. Now watch your knees, are they hip distance apart? Keep that neck in a neutral position. Inhale, and exhale. Nice deep breath in. This is a great way, if you can do this, to stay in one spot and bring your heart rate up, especially the heavier you go with weights. We're just gonna do 10 more. Buns and abs. Just five more. Five, exhale up, four, three, Two, now let it swing, and rest. Fantastic job, ladies. Take a moment here, march it out. Okay, so now what we're gonna do here, you guys, a little bit here of a balance coordination move. We're gonna come down, okay? So as we do a compound move, we're building the coordination naturally in our body because we're trying to do multiple things at once. I like to think about compound moves like multitasking. Sometimes we're better off just doing one thing and doing it well. Sometimes you can get multiple things done at the same time. So from here, I'm gonna find my center of balance and open. If this does not work, I can lie down on the ground do the same thing. So my neck is in neutral and I'm reaching here. Elbow, knee. One, two, three. Now reach it open through the oblique. Four, you're using that glute. Five, pulling that knee in six. We're trying to hold that leg up hip tight. Eight, nine, one more, and 10. I'll take a quick little break and come over that knee. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. So the next part here is the scorpion. So from here, I'm elbow knee, I'm gonna push my foot back. Now the foot, the leg here is not in line with the spine, it's pushed behind me. I take my toe behind me, dip my hip and lift. And I'm gonna show you here for the back so you can see what that looks like. So from here, I'm up, elbow knee, pull in, scorpion, Toe, dip, hip left, and squeeze. So at this move here, okay? If you can, it's really gonna target the hips on both sides. All right, so second part of that move. In, back, toe, dip, hip lift, and swing. In, back, toe, dip, hip lift. In, scorpion, dip. Make sure your palms under your shoulder. In, push back, dip. In, push back. Let's go one more here to practice. In, push back, and rest. Very good. Don't want to tire you out too much because when we pull that together, 
That is a challenge. Big breath in, big breath out. Now, if I can, I'm gonna sit back and open. Maybe this does not work for me. I adjust accordingly. Very good, you guys. Okay, so now combining that knee pull scorpion. All right, so as I position my knee, my back foot is in the middle, my toe comes down for balance. So I'm gonna reach here and pull, pull and push back scorpion, toe dip, hip lift reach, knee pull, knee pull scorpion, toe dip, and two, knee pull. Now pull and push, three, pull, push, and four, open, pull, push back, abs in, for five, pull, push, four more times, here we go, pull, scorpion, three more times, pull, push it back now, two more, pull, push it back, one more time, pull, and transition over, into that puppy pose. Nice deep breath. As I come back, I can gently rock my hips side to side. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Palms under the shoulders, set the chin to the chest. Open. Come to a down dog, curl those toes, open it up. Feel that space here. That part of your body. Open it up now. Shake it out. You can keep bicycling your legs if you'd like. And also take your right leg and just take a moment and open, looking underneath that right arm, relaxing the left heel. Left. Externally rotate underneath that knee and relaxing the opposite heel. Nice inhale. Nice exhale. Very good, you guys. Hey, since it was so much fun on that side, we're gonna combine it. If you need to do a different move, you guys, you wanna just work on strengthening your hips, you can do side leg swings, you can do front back swings, you can do this from standing. So please try to adjust accordingly if need be. So I'm gonna take my back toe, make sure it's in the middle, reach from here. Leg as high as the hip, knee pull. One, two, three, inhale, exhale, four, and five, now six. Use your oblique to pull the knee in, seven, eight, two more, keep that neck in neutral, nine, one more, and ten. Open, now I'm trying to bring my chin to my toe, big breath here. Second part is our scorpion. So as I come from my knee pull, I push that foot back, dip, and left. Here we go. Pull, push, toe dip, hip lift, and swing. In, push back, dip the hip, and swing. In, push back, dip the hip. One more time, in, back, dip the hip, and then stretch it out again. If this feels good, great. If I feel like I can come back and stretch deeper. So as we tie this together, you guys, balance coordination, glutes, obliques, little bit here of everything, neck in neutral, knee pull, knee pull, scorpion, toe dip, Hip lift, one, knee pull, knee pull, scorpion, toe dip, hip lift, two, pull, push back, dip the hip, three, pull, push back, feel this on both sides of those glutes, four, pull, push back, five, pull, now push back, we're almost there, you guys, we got four more, pull, push it back, Three more, pull, push it back. Two more, pull, push it back. Last one, pull, push it back. 
Awesome job, you guys. Great work. I'm gonna take my knees and really open them here as far as feels comfortable. Push them back and then adjust accordingly. Maybe a number four stretch works best for me. I'm gonna take a big breath in, big breath out. I'm gonna release my seat and then cross that right ankle over the left. As much as I can, try and push that knee away from me. Now I get a hug the opposite hand. Low back touching, deep breath in. You can add a rotation to this going side to side. Now I like to use a foam roller here on the glutes and then roll back and forth, that's an option. You can also stay in one space and just focus on opening that hip. We're gonna switch sides now, ankle over the knee. This is enough, I stay here, relax my back. If I can, I tabletop and really try to push that knee away from me. I could also thread the needle, nice inhale. I can also add that rainbow. I will come all the way down just enough to adjust, inhale, exhale. One more time, back and forth. Great job, you guys. Happy baby, one more time. Relax that low back. Deep breath in. Lengthen those legs. Kick that energy out here. Wonderful job, you guys. Fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and roll it up. Now, as we come from here, you guys, you're going to come onto your forearms. Okay, so as we come here to our crouching tiger like this, I'm barely lifting, and then I'm opening up here, you guys, from here into the dolphin. If you prefer, okay? If you want that break from your wrist, I'm gonna give you that chance to do that, and still work your abs. So I'm pressing my forearms, curl my toes under, neck in neutral. I'm gonna hover here and barely lift my knees. Five, four, three, two, Dolphin pose, nice deep breath in. Hover, five, four, three, two. Dolphin. Hover, three, two, three, four. Now you guys are gonna feel this in your quadriceps, the core, the shoulders, three, four, and five. One more time like this, one. Two and three and four and five. Great job. Nice deep breath in. As I get ready here, you guys, for my donkeys, I want to make sure that my neck is in neutral, my abdominal muscle cramp. So, one way to do this would be to bend and lengthen here. Another way would be to return back to the forearms, open out of the hip flexor and pull that in, okay? If it doesn't work to bend your leg, then you keep it straight. Okay, so we've got 10 times and 10 pulses. The first five I wanna bend, the second five I wanna straighten. So inhale, exhale, one, two, inhale, exhale, three, and four, five, now we're straightening, five, and four, Abs in three and two and one. Quick little rest now, push back. So big inhale, nice exit. So five and five, you guys, you're just gonna switch here. Deep breath in, other leg. Inhale, exhale, one, two, three. Squeezing the glute, four, now I'm going to keep it straight. Inhale, exhale. One, try to square up my hips. Two, three, four, one more, and five. Very good. Now I'm going to show you how you can repeat that move, adding the upper body. Okay, so from my plank position, in and out. One, 
two, you can repeat the same thing from the floor if you need to. Three, four, one more. Now straight in that plank position. Up, one, two, three, four, and five. Drop it and push back, let it go. Nice deep breath, you guys. Awesome. We're gonna switch sides here. Same thing. Neck in neutral. Pull. One. Two. Out of sight. Three. Four. Exhale. Straight leg. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Push back, downward facing dog. Now shake any nonsense out of your head. Walk your feet into your hands. You're in the forward bend. Any which way you can keep that spine nice and tall. Soften the knee and roll it up. Roll back. Very good, you guys. Squat jumps. Now, if I can't do a squat jump, I can do a squat. I can always adjust this. I like to do a sumo, that way here my toes are slightly rotated. When I come here, it's easier for me to come close to the floor. If it doesn't work, instead, I will come halfway, okay? So this one sometimes takes a little bit to get that momentum going, so we're gonna go to 20. So from here, one, two. Opposite of a jumping jack, when I come up, my feet come together. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Roll down. One more time. Hip distance, interlace your hands and pull that energy. I want to step back here with my left butt. I'm keeping the hands behind me if I can, opening up the heart. Now when I hinge forward, if from here, my right foot's forward, my right shoulder comes to the inside of my right knee. And then I'm going to transfer and take my left hand down, open up the right into the knee. I can drop my knee, back knee if I need to. I can open it up. Hand behind the back, nice deep breath in. Return back. And then step your back foot forward. Interlace your hands. Open up your heart. Shoulders back. Step back, other foot. Nice inhale. From here, as I hinge, I'm putting the inside of the knee and reaching those arms nice and long. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. From here, rotate into that knee. Nice deep breath, you guys. Open as much as you can here. Big space. Return back and step that back foot forward. Awesome job. Okay, so this next move, as we bend the knee, we work the glute here. We're going to pop it up and we're going to tap that heel behind. First 10, tap from here. One, two, three, four. Squeeze your glute, push it up. Five. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Now you're going to lift your knee across. Two, you can always stand up and drive the knee across if that's better. Four, five, six, seven, 
Eight, press through that glute and peel. One more. And rest. We're going to externally rotate that leg. If you need to use a wall, you always can. Open. Cross the midline of your body. Open the door and close it. Inhale. Exhale. If you need to go slow, adjust the move. One more. Awesome job. So now as we soften to the other side, make sure my knee is up and past my toe. And then I tap. One, two, three. I'm trying to lengthen that right leg. Four, five. Bunch and chest out. Six, seven, eight, nine. And one more. Now I'm going to lift up the knee across. One, two, Three, to the heel, four, five, exhale, six, exhale, seven, eight, two more, nine, one more time, and ten. Very good. Open, inhale, exhale. One more time. Close it. One, two, three, one more time. Open up your legs here, double shoulder, interlace your hands. Once again, pull from here the energy down and squeeze your shoulder blades together. As you hinge here, reach for the sky. Shake any nonsense out of your head here and really lengthen you guys as high as you can. Nice deep breath in, nice deep breath out. We're gonna return back here to the floor. Now, as we come to that Ukraine twist side to side, you can use weights, open up and open up. After we do 10 rides, what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna pull up to that one side. Now, if I cannot pull up, I will stick with my twist to the side. So big breath in, weights or not, one, and two, three, four, five, you can always use a pillow or one of those soft Pilates balls behind your back, four, three, two, one, and then return. Now, if I am comfortable, I'm rotating in towards my right knee. Same thing. Right knee comes in, right arm comes back. I'm just trying to rotate into that knee just a little bit. Four more. Four, three, two. Open and stretch. Nice deep breath. Take a moment, bottom of your feet together. Imprint your spine. Nice inhale. Tuck your pelvis, low back down. Lengthen those legs. Now as I come up to the left, left elbow bends. One, two, three, exhale. Four, five. Remember, I can do the twist instead. Six of coming up and down doesn't work. Seven, eight, nine. One more. Awesome job. I want you guys to glue your legs to the floor. Okay, so what's going to happen? My left hand is supporting my head like a hammock. And all I'm doing is lifting just enough so my shoulder blades come off the floor. I'm following the line of my legs. Both of my legs are contracted. Chin stays off the chest, glide up towards the knee. One, two, exhale it up. Three, four, five. Imprint every time you come up. Six, seven, glue your legs contracted. Eight, nine, 
So we're activating everything here, you guys. Pulse it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reach on your chin, head heavy. Eight, nine, open and stretch. Big breath in. Nice inhale. Other side behind. Big breath in. The goal is to keep a little bit of tension on that core. Exhale up one. Blue your legs. Two, three, four. Use your breath. Five, six, keep that chin up your chest now. Seven, exhale up, contract your quadriceps. Eight, exhale, nine, here we go, pulse. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Open it up. I'm gonna bend my knees, take my hands by my side, and lift it up from here. Now, no tension or stress in my neck, just squeezing the glutes up. From here, if I'm comfortable, I'm gonna interlace my hands and I can roll my shoulders under, keeping my head looking to the ceiling. And from here, squeezing the glutes, pressing the heels. Don't move your head if you're interlacing your hands and squeezing. Nice inhale. Nice exhale, imprint the spine, happy baby. I can either hug my knees or gently pull them in and lengthen my legs, energy to the corners. So one more compound, you guys. Now, you can either come up to standing and do the three jack, three knee pull, which is what I'm gonna do, or what you can do is you can go three jacks, three knee pull, okay? What that would be would be three jumping jacks and three mountain climbers. So if you want to integrate more of the upper body into it, you can do this from the floor. So what the move is is three jacks, and then we take that left knee and pull it up. Here we go, one, two, three, Right, one, two, one, two, two, three. Left, one, two, two, three, two, three. One, two, three, four, two, three. Exhale, pull it in. Here we go. Five, knee, six, knee. Seven, knee, eight, knee, here we go, nine, keep going if you're in that plank, one more, great job, if you're on the floor, push back down dog, if not, reach for it, Spread your waves, let it go. Inhale, exhale, one more. So I'm gonna set my feet together, cross here, my right foot over my left. Now I can hinge to so the left over the right. You're hinging from your hip. If you feel like your heart rate is slow, don't come down low. If you can, you're gonna rotate, lengthen over the top, and then rotate here to your left side. Rotate to your right side. Feel that space in the back part here. Those hamstrings return back to the center. We're gonna switch feet on top. Nice inhale, hinge from your hip. Abs in, you can always hold on to the leg, keeping your back nice and strong. Rotate to your right. Rotate to your left. Return back to the middle. Open. Pinch forward one more time, interlace the hands. Reach for it. Shake any nonsense out of your head. So I'm gonna take here my left hand and just bring it to the right ankle, chin to the knee. Right hand behind the back supporting. 
And then one more time, switch it up. Nice deep breath in, feel that space in the hamstring in the back. Interlace in the elbows in three circles. One, two, and rewind it. Three, two, and one. Soft knees, elbows on the knee. Rotate through the shoulder. Other side. And then all the way back up. Let's take three big breaths in. On the inhale, pause at the first. Spread my wings. Let go of anything negative that doesn't serve me. Now as I reach for the sky, I'm going to pull that energy into my heart center and think of all the things I have to be thankful for. One more time. Big breath in. Big gratitude list right here into that heart. So grateful for all of you guys. Go ahead from here. Rest your hands on your heart and gently by your head. Namaste and have an amazing weekend, you guys. Good job.